is running kimono here. So um, today's video, we're doing a Lowe's um, <laughs> deal that if you can find this, it's fantastic. And if you can't, maybe you should at least try to look for it and you might uh, surprise yourself. Uh, so this Nature's Way, we had a deal with this a couple months back with the six packs that were a dollar and some change. These four packs in some markets are 90 cents or like a dollar five, which is a really killer price for this toilet paper. Um, bamboo toilet paper, a bit controversial. Some people do not like it. Uh, the people at CVS who are getting all the baboo for next to nothing. Um, this I don't have a problem with and I actually did use some the last time I got this really inexpensive. Um, I really love the consistency. It's like a Scots 1000, um, but other people, you know, maybe they use a bit more in the household or there's one person that should have their toilet paper privileges confiscated because they're using so much that they've clogged up the toilet. Issues with that. So just, you know, whatever works for your household. Um, anyhow, these four packs, sorry about that huge tangent, but if I don't say it, there's going to be people in the comments saying that, you know, this toilet paper ruined their life. Anyhow, these four packs, uh, they have been on clearance since about Christmas time. And again, I don't know if it's the cute panda or what, but this really captured my imagination. And I'm like, when this goes on clearance, it's going to be fire. And then here it is like four months since Christmas. And it's like, oh, here it is. So it was $1.98. Um, this is the UPC. And of course, I had the presence of mind to photograph everything because I'm a friggin' nerd here. Um, so they were originally close to four bucks. They were 50% off for the longest time. If you go to the site brickseek.com, exactly as it's typed at the bottom of the screen, you have the option at the top. See, it says inventory checker. You would go second on the left to Lowe's. So that is the store you would select and then type in that UPC I just showed you and you could find out in your area, um, you know, if they have any in stock and if you should just go and check. And, um, it's just absolutely like the site is fantastic and it's free to use as well um, once you have the information that I'm providing. So as you can see, we're on uh, the, the Lowe's side of this site. So if you look at the top left, it says UPC and then that big long number and I'll have it typed out in the notes for you. My zip code is in Texas. I wanted to go some more warm this morning. And if you look to the far right in navy blue, it says inventory checker. You will press that and then every store in the Houston area, it'll start popping like, you know, this store might have it, this store might have it, um, and so on and so forth. And as you can see here, um, Houston, it says limited stock. So I think that store is pretty much cleared. And then Missouri City, it's gone. Um, Sugarland, it's gone. So it would give you an idea. And then say you wanted to go like an hour away, you could type in a different zip code. So you have the options to play with that, maybe a less populated area, you might find a bunch. So also with BrickSeek, I just wanna mention this, um, even though it might say that it's in stock, if the stuff is in the back of the store or if you have a less than helpful employee who will not help you, it might just stay stuck there and they're like, well, we just don't have it in stock. Um, I talked to a lady on the phone today at a store about an hour away because I was not going to drive out there and it was not her Monday. She was like, what? And I'm like, uh, uh, could you help me with something? Because I couldn't track it down with the website. I was going to do a website to pick up in store, do like that curbside thing. And she's like, what? And I was like, okay, well, I I'm just going to go. But I knew the store didn't have it because I tried to look it up a, diff a couple different ways. But I thought maybe she could help me out by calling the store. And that was a huge mistake. With this sort of stuff, go to the store, check it out, and you will either find it or you won't. Maybe a, an employee might help you out, or you might end up in a situation like me where it's like, you're going to go nowhere very quickly. And this site is just a point of reference to show you, you know, stuff in stock, stuff not in stock, but it's not always 100%. Um, I think my average is probably three out of 10. So that's why I was very reticent to, to get my butt to the store today. So because it's an hour drive, I was going to try and lean on the employee and say, hey, could you look this up for me? And that was not the thing to do. I provided all the information. I was nice as pie. But you know what, it might be in a box in the back. And um, I might show up there later today and score big. But unfortunately, you know, I would rather know a little bit by calling the store, but sometimes it's probably easier just to go and check it out yourself. So just be mindful of that too. Now, the next item we're going to talk about, and I was scoring this about two months ago, it's these six packs. And obviously the six pack is a better value because it's still priced at about that dollar four, dollar five range for six um, rolls instead of the 
four rolls, although the four rolls in some markets is 90 cents, just to note that. So anyhow, here is the UPC for this guy. Look how cute that panda is. It is the most friendliest looking toilet paper I've ever seen. So just typing this into BrickSeek, um, as you can see, there's the UPC, my zip code, and then I would press the inventory um, checker, and then it's going to aggregate the list with that zip code of what is and what is not in stock. Okay, so looking at this, the top one, Houston, we have it at 79% off, and there's three. Looking at the bottom one, um, there's nine in stock at the same price point. The center one is only 40% off, but there's 14 there. So if you wanted to keep looking at that store on Beach Nut Street, you possibly could do that. Or you could visit one of the two stores and see if this stuff is in stock. Obviously, six rolls is a little bit better than four rolls, but still like an awesome little find there. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about in this little family is the single roll of the toilet paper. So this is just a one roll of toilet paper for $2.78, which I find to be exceptionally rich. And I even the clearance price I found, I would not buy this stuff for that cost. But if you love everything bamboo, this might be something for you. And here is the UPC for this product. It just seems like a little bit much for me when it's um, a dollar. Okay, guys. So uh, as you can see here, we have the UPC in the zip. So you would just, um, you know, punch in all this good information and then search for it. And uh, this product, I don't know why it's still really expensive and even... I don't think it's going to fly off the shelf for this cost, like 97 cents. So it's 76% off. So I think the product was originally like $3.99 or $4.99. Even at 49 cents for one single roll of paper towel, I don't think I would pull the trigger on that. What, what do you guys think? I wouldn't. I think that's still too much. Maybe if it was four cents, I would go. But I just think that's just way too much for paper towel. Toilet paper is a different story, but paper towel, you can use an old dish rag for that. Um, so as I was telling you guys, um, I was looking online on their site and uh, I found this and they had an add to cart feature and then it vanished. So it was just some weird stuff going on with their site this morning. The store was closed yesterday in celebration of Easter, but it's some weird stuff. And then I had to pay a freight fee of $100 to get this driven to my house in one of those massive trucks. And like, that's not happening. Um, but I thought maybe I could just buy a bunch and have it sent to the store. And then I would go drive and pick it up at a later time. But they weren't even offering that. So I think that the stock in my region is just completely gone. So I was out of luck there because I was just getting all these weird error messages. But anyhow, guys, if this is something that might interest you, obviously go and search today in store and good luck with this. And remember, the Brick Seek site is not a given. Um, a lot of times I go to the store looking for this stuff and I don't find it, but on the odd occasion you do find it and you do that little Snoopy dance in the aisle once you find it. If you remember my video from a couple months back, I mean, I think I got like 25 or something crazy like that and it was just like a really great find. Good luck with this one. In the comments, if you score, let me know or send me a photo over on Instagram. I would love to see them and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.